Today we're going to be talking all about Paris. There's actually something on your screen right now that is starting to worry and starting to trouble some people. And I saw people talking about on like Discord and Reddit and Twitter and all over the place this morning. Uh, it's actually been happening for a couple of days now, but this is the first time that it really came to my attention. So I just want to go over the whole Paris market, what we're looking at in terms of, uh, you know, capsules and uh, the team hollows and how some different stickers are doing and just what my updated thoughts and opinions overall are on Paris, especially as we get closer and closer to the Copenhagen major as we get closer and closer to 2024 and all the new content and all that new stuff that's yet to come and hopefully this will be a good funny interesting video uh and we'll go over what my issue is on the screen as well but first of course let me plug my cash trading business if you guys are looking to sell any of your cs2 items i'm talking anything and everything we can get a deal done we can get you some cash safely effectively efficiently quickly whatever uh in a bunch of different payment methods whatever you're looking for i have a, a nice group and, and connection community of people now to be able to help you guys get into cash uh, in the best way possible i'm buying all kinds of different stuff for between 85 and 90 percent buff so if that sounds interesting to you if if that sounds like a good deal to you, if that sounds like something you guys are interested in, of course, it also helps support me, my channel, and my content as well. So I would appreciate it a ton. Uh, you can hit me up over on Twitter. going to be the first link in the description below. I might have my trade link down there as well, if that's something you guys are interested in too. With that being said, let's get right into this. So obviously, Paris capsules. We have been monitoring for a long, long, long time. And I think when I look at this screen, there's definitely some good news. The fact that people want to say, or maybe it's even true, whatever. Obviously, it is true to some extent. I'm not trying to say that it's not. Paris has some crazy high supplies. They have some crazy high quantities. This major was over-invested or invested on the higher side or just invested a lot into, strongly invested into. Who knows if that's over-invested or not? We're going to see in the next couple of years if that ends up being over-invested or not. It's going to depend, I think, greatly on how well CS2 is able to do over the next couple of years and on factors like if we're going to get more and how many more borderless sticker collections. If CS2 bo booms over the course of 2024 and we don't get a borderless sticker collection in 2024, I think, hey, Paris is probably not going to have been overinvested. I think it'll probably be still pretty profitable. Now, it's not going to be Stockholm type returns or anything like that, but hey, whatever. Now, if CS2 continues to kind of fumble the bag a little bit and CS2 continues to be shaky throughout all of 2024 and we get one if not two more borderless sticker collections hey Paris is probably going to end up looking like a pretty big disaster so who knows the, the story of Paris is still yet to be told but obviously the quantities are high especially relatively but I think as each major has kind of come out the some of the quantities have looked high I'm sure and I know for sure I can look back and see that people said hey uh stuff like Antwerp was overinvested in or the quantities were too high or whatever. And obviously those have seen pretty insane returns and insane gains. It's going to depend on the player base. So the player base goes up 20, 30, 40, 50%. Hey, these numbers maybe start to make a little bit more sense. And also if we get a bunch of cool new skins and people love crafting and stuff like that, that could definitely uh, increase application rates, which is going to eat into the pair supply more and more and more. Who knows? We'll have to see. But with Paris being as invested as it has been, whatever word you want to use, the fact that we still have a couple of sticker capsules doing quite well, like the Contenders Autograph Capsule here sitting at 29 cents and the Paris Challengers Autograph Capsule here sitting at 29 cents, I think that is a great sign. That shows there is some genuine demand here because again, if people uh, like opening these and like buying them and like having them and stuff so much uh, and they're so invested into, if the quantities are so crazy obviously supply and demand is a thing if there was so much supply and no demand these prices would be crashing these prices would be cratering they would be shooting way down but the fact that not only are they not crashing but they're sitting above that 25 cent price point that they were selling at during the sale is still a very very good sign now obviously on steam things were always like 26 27 28 29 cents whatever so maybe they've been pretty flat on steam overall uh, but still the fact that you could buy these for 25 cents and even lower in a lot of different places and these are now worth 29 cents, I think is uh, a very, very cool sign. Now, I don't know if you sell at 29 cents, if you get 25 or 26 or whatever, is it break even? Are you making a cent on each one? I don't know for sure. And it doesn't really matter. We're talking about a penny here, uh, but I think that is a very, very good sign. But obviously the bad news here for Paris starts as we start to go down a little bit. We can see something here like the contenders capsule. I don't know which, uh, I don't know which one I have this in, but here's the contenders capsule. And we can see that in the very recent times over the past week, this thing has just been going down and down and down and down. And again, all of these capsules, even though people have been saying they're so overinvested and the supplies are so crazy and Paris is so trash and Paris is Antwerp or RMR 2.0 or whatever, uh, and it's just going to be worth nothing. You're just going to be sitting on it forever. 
these capsules were still staying at 25 cents or above until very, very recently. Just the last couple of days, you can see these peaks have just been getting lower every day. We went from 30 cents a week ago to 29, to 29, to 28, to 28, to 28, to 27. And then all of a sudden we touch down here with the contenders capsule, I guess not getting below 25, but touching down to 25. It now is back up to 26. But again, this is that capsule with the mouse hollow. Now, I don't really understand why this capsule continues to be the best and the most expensive and the highest in demand um, because yes, it has the mouse. But again, Mouse is a duplicate at this point, which definitely worries me going forward in the future. And outside of Fluxo, yes, it has Phase, which is pretty popular too. But like Phase, Fluxo, Mouse, I think are all pretty cool stickers. But like it has Mongols, Greyhounds, Liquid, Complexity, Ends. Like it has some pretty trash stickers too. I really think um, that this is like the least interesting capsule to me. But it does sit at the highest price point right now. But if we look at the other capsules, like Legends, uh, we can see that this thing actually touched down at 23 cents. Uh, this was, I guess, today, earlier today, it touched down at 23 cents. Uh, and same thing here with the Challengers capsule as well. We can see these bottoms here, it even gets as low as 22 cents. So these things had been staying pretty consistently and pretty strongly above those 25 cent price points, which again, is those prices you've been able to buy at. So even though you're not necessarily making any huge profit or huge gains, you're not really losing anything either. But now, if we start to talk about 23, 22, even lower than that, plus you're adding in fees. Now this starts to become a little bit more concerning. Now, again, I will say this is not a huge red flag for me. This is not an absolute disaster. We've seen other sticker capsules in the past. Antwerp got below 25 cents. It was below 25 cents for a long time. Obviously, it still did quite well. Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean the end of the world. And also, hey, Paris has only been off sale for like three or four months at this point. Again, I know some people were in it for a quick flip or a quick buck or wanting to, expecting to make money in one month or two months or three months or whatever. Uh, and obviously, the sale went on way longer than anyone thought it was going to as well. Uh, but... I do think that the long term is what you need to look at. Where are Paris prices going to be a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? Now, hey, maybe that's not what a lot of people want to hear. Maybe that's not what a lot of people are in this for or whatever. I get that and I understand. Well, then, hey, Paris is probably not for you and maybe you should have sold out or whatever. But I'm not one that's going to be sitting there trying to buy and sell and buy and sell. And I'm going to buy when Paris is cool and hype and everything and then sell when Paris is trash and nobody wants it. And then it's going to run up again. And I'm going to buy it. Again. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. I bought what I bought with money that I can afford to sit on and wait. And, and we're going to see what happens with Paris. And I'm going to learn from it along the way. Either I'm going to make some money, maybe I'll lose some money, maybe I'll learn a lot, maybe I'll whatever, get to make some content out of it, we'll have to wait and see. But the fact that these capsules have now broke below 25 cents, again, is not the end of the world We've seen this before, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Uh, and I don't really know why. There wasn't really any recent news that dropped all these, you know, like two cents or whatever. Obviously, there's a lot of people expecting new content coming soon. We're getting closer and closer uh, to the Copenhagen Major, which isn't a great sign. I know a lot of people are worried for that, that, that new borderless stickers are going to be coming out. Um, obviously, people are expecting like an operation or some kind of new content soon or whatever. So people probably want to get into some money and get into some cash to be able to buy into that stuff. Uh, and as people just sit on their Paris longer and longer and it doesn't do anything, Thing, they might get bored. They might just want to sell out and they might want to get into some new stuff, which I think weirdly does present some decent buying opportunities for Paris. Because if you can start to get this stuff cheaper and cheaper and lower some of those cost bases, especially on the hollows, then Paris all of a sudden might uh, end up making a lot more sense. Yes, Paris probably didn't make as much sense when the uh, the capsules were up a little bit higher or the hollows were way, 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 way higher than they are today. But as prices continue to drop, at some point, it probably makes sense. Uh, but I know people have a lot of negative connotations and just pessimism overall surrounding Paris. So I know a lot of people are just kind of staying away from it altogether. But did just want to get this news out to you guys that, hey, as I was seeing some things, yes, prices have dropped below 25 cents for the first time for a couple of these capsules. Contenders still holding strong at that 25 cent line, but Legends and Challengers dipping both below that. Obviously, they have both rebound up to 24 and 25 cents, but this is definitely something to keep an eye on going forward. Um, but at this point, if you're still holding Paris, I mean, you're probably just going to be holding through the Copenhagen Major and... None of this really matters that much when you think about that because either they're going to be borderless or they're not, and that's going to change prices either up or down hugely. These couple cent changes here and there right now before we even know about Copenhagen doesn't really matter all that much. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Again, if you're looking to sell any of your CS2 items, looking to cash out your inventory, bulk, sell, whatever, hit me up over on Twitter. We can probably work something out. Uh, hopefully catch you guys in the next one. But until then, peace.